Hello everybody, so today I just would like to make a short video because I received a pull request on one of my repository. So it's passcode, password generator and here if I go to pull request, indeed I have someone who did a pull request. He's not the first, I mean he did already one pull request previously before to add a pipeline. So it's not like new on my GitHub. He is really good and he did another very relevant pull request adding a GitHub action on one of my repositories. I forgot which one it was. I think it was HTTP request. Uh, where is that one? Just HTTP status. I think he did a pull request on that one many months ago. Yeah, it was here. Um, was it? this one that was about my pool uh, yes so that was about the workflow i don't know why it resolves issue one oh yes because there was an issue already he created an issue and so i suggested him to create a pipeline github action pipeline so this is what he did there this is what he meant uh, from the issue he initially created he he initially raised on my github so i suggest you obviously to create pull requests and uh, issues in my case i do it quite often on github it's a way to uh, pay it forward like what people like to say so you use open source uh, libraries softwares um you know like uh, frameworks and so on and you also contribute in return obviously you don't have to do it but it's nice also for your cv it's nice to learn more because for the pull request you will learn uh, a lot more so this one why he does this it's because with php php um 7 since php 7 you can use random int instead of empty went or went so went is to have a random number and random int integer uh, is actually the secure version if you deal with passwords, for instance, because it uses cryptographic, cryptographically secure. So it is a crypt cryptographically secure version. Wow. Apparently I have some difficulties to say that name. It's funny. So it's cryptographic. So if you wonder what it is, uh, it's, um, it will, it will, be, it will be very hard to guess the the well the number being generated really hard because it's about the software so it's really unique it's much more unique than rent uh random is just to give a random you know a random number but obviously uh you see here it says why it's more secure so uh there are, it's obviously it's slower uh, so usually it takes almost twice the time of um if you compare empty went and random int i think there was a, a really good benchmark as well empty went and random int takes twice of the time it makes sense but it's more secure so you don't have to use it for everywhere but for instance um, to generate a password it's a really good uh, idea to use random int so i will say Excellent, excellent. Thanks very much for doing this. And then I will mention his name. And um, this actually, this one, it doesn't fix entirely the library because I still have to fix another issue with my library. It is passcode. So, oh no, passcode, he does fix passcode, but not password. Um, because array went, that's for array, it will still use empty went. So it's not, so we'll have to use, I think they mentioned it here, you see, it is not actually uh, cryptographically secure. So the value are not cryptographically um, secure, and it's much better if you are dealing with password to use random int uh, so we just mentioned that to him as well at least he knows and i will probably do that i think there is one more place where we can also replace 
empty went. So if you wonder what empty went, the difference with empty went and went from PHP, empty went is like the newer version of went. Went is older and empty went is much faster. So actually it says here it's in password.php and then I will copy paste this one. Perfect. Since it's also using perfect. So that's my comment. Beautiful. I, I'm sorry, I just sometimes I have difficulties to speak and to write at the same time. So approve and run. I will run the pipeline because there's a GitHub action pipeline here. And normally it should pass this because the result should be the same. I will just wait. And after I will create a new version. Actually, I'm, uh, let's do it already. Uh, I'm sure it will, it will pass the pipeline anyway. Um, let's not wait the pipeline to finish. In the meantime, we can already create a new version here. And after you will see the pipeline will pass. So here, I will have a new version. It will be v2.0.6. Let's create a new tag and here. And I will do 29th November. It's actually the day of my birthday. Release the other versions, how I was doing it. Yeah, also in parentheses like this. I will just do November like that. Perfect. And here, um, using I uh, saw so using so I will just do that passcode it now use this and here now use this it's now it it now it now generates generate a thanks to random to PHP native function. And can I add a contributor? I'm just looking here. Uh, I'm not sure if we can add a contributor. No. Uh, I thought there is a way to add. Um, I will just do. Or maybe the t in the in the template contributor. Oh yes, beautiful. So we just do this like that. Perfect. And this is done. So now I can publish that one. Awesome. It's really nice to have a generated template. You see, so it it looks really uh, really beautiful like that. So now I have version. 2.0.6 so this is done you see and later I can update my libraries and others so that's really nice so it will be a simple um, I can even change my comment my this the description of the package here a simple secure and efficient way to generate a simple secure and efficient way to generate passcodes and passwords for your Perfect. Beautiful. And here in, in the tag, I will add creep, oops, crypto cryptography and cryptography like this. Awesome. You see, so 
easily you can just accept a PR. Now you can see my pipeline has passed. That's the pipeline I have. It will just run all the unit tests. And yeah, beautiful, lovely. So you have seen a little bit behind the scene how I approved PR, so pull request, and how do I review them, and why I like those, and why the PR it just waste adds a big value to the library. So usually it will be accepted right away. It's a small change, and it makes sense. And also the um, the function is only available since PHP seven, but because my library is uh, requires at least PHP 7.3, as you can see here, and in composer.json, it's a valid change, a valid PR. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.